Hello everyone, hope you're all well. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk About It, where we take products off of our shelves, mostly machines, we throw in a video here for you, we talk about it a little bit more, and you can get some more information. Today we're talking about the Flash Forge Adventurer 4. Coming in at just under 19,000 Rand, let's dive into this machine and see what it has to offer. The printing area is 220 millimeters by 200 millimeters by 250 millimeters in the X, Y, and Z area. What comes inside the box is your 3D printer. It's not in its flat state because of this gorgeous enclosure that it has over here. Some bits and bobs and a scraper and things like that. It won't have anything really extra that you won't see out of any other FDM 3D printer. The print quality off of this 3D printer is really, really great. It is a flash forge. It's high quality machine parts here. It has everything to offer. Some reasons why I would say to get this 3D printer, the reasons why it stands out for me, it actually does have an abundance of features here. It has a built-in um, camera inside of it that most flash forges do have. It also has a really nice auto bed leveling system in here. I really like the system. It's very, very nice. You can remove the bed and bend it. It is flexible that your prints can just pop off over there. You don't have to go and struggle and dig with a scraper um, that most printers you do really struggle with. It can use your usual USB cable or Ethernet or Wi-Fi. Some of the things that I really like about this printer is its nozzles are super easy to change out like you saw just previously. Super, super easy, really, really nice. What's also nice about this 3D printer, it has a farming-like system where you can have multiple of these printers and use one slicer and send it to each and every individual printer. You can also, it'll give you a very accurate estimation of how long a print will take and you can plan your future prints accordingly. I don't see why you would want to upgrade this 3D printer. It has everything that you would need here. It has a really, really nice enclosure. It is enclosed from the top, the bottom, the sides and the back. And the front has a removable, not really a removable, more openable door in the front for you to access the print, access the bed. I would say this machine is really, really reliable. It is a Flash Forge brand. It is a very high quality brand that you would expect from Flash Forge. So I would definitely say that in terms of reliability, I do give it a thumbs up. Just a few pros and cons about this machine. Let's start with the uh, pros first and work our way there. Pros for this machine, I would say it is very, very well built. It is very, very reliable. It has a nice finish. It has an abundance of features that you are very rarely gonna see on other 3D printers, such as the removable nozzles, which I find mind blowing how easy this is to remove and switch and change. I love the bed that is flexible that you can pop off prints. I love the new bed leveling system that they have in here. The screen is very, very easy to use and very easy to navigate. And it also looks very aesthetically pleasing. Another thing over here is I really like this farming system that they have here where you can use it on the Wi-Fi or the Ethernet and you can link these printers together and just send a file once. For me, that is top notch. Some cons over here, I really do say um, not a lot, really few cons. The number one is 18,399 Rand and 95 cents at this moment on our website. It is really expensive for a 3D printer. You do get a lot cheaper printers. So if this amount of money is not in your budget, then this is not really one you're going to be looking at. But if it is in your budget, it is definitely a contender for you to examine and have a look at. It might even be the one that you choose. Another con that I'd say here, it does have a really small bed. Now, no, it doesn't have the smallest bed, but no, it doesn't have the biggest bed. This box makes it really, really big in terms of the size of the printer to the bed, which means that although you can only print things this big, you have to have a space this big to fit it on your table, fit it on your desk, wherever you have to put it. Now, Flash Forge does make a lot bigger, a lot heavier printers, but it is still quite large if you look at 3D printers in general. One other thing I want to say is, who is this printer for? Now, as you guys saw in this clip that I put in front of this, 
You can use this in schools, you can use this in businesses. Now, why I say that is, a teacher can very easily use this in a school. The kids cannot get their hands into this machine, grab the hot bed, grab the hot nozzle, loosen the belt. It's very, very limited to your access of it. So that makes it really, really safe to use and very easy to use as well. Because the nozzles are so quick and easy to change, pretty much anyone can do it. So I would say in educational purposes, in a um, professional environment, it is definitely one of the winners that you are going to be looking at. Guys, please subscribe to our YouTube channel that you can get notifications every time we post a video like this and other great stuff that we do in the store. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.